He's a celebrity chef on the Food Network and author of four cookbooks. He started a foundation to support wounded soldiers and their families, and he's the host of Restaurant Impossible. Now Robert Irvine is back for a new impossible mission and the goal of helping restaurants during the pandemic. Chef Robert Irvine joins us now. Chef, how are you? Thanks for being here. How are you? Great to see you. Thanks for, for taking time to chat. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Restaurant Impossible has helped places across the country for 17 seasons. You go in, turn things around, uh, turn it from a struggling business to a thriving business. Now you're helping people get back to business because the pandemic has hit restaurants especially hard. What are you doing? So the cool thing is, um, you're right, 17 seasons of Restaurant Impossible. Normally I go and help them because they've made the mistakes. Uh, in this case, the pandemic, March, beginning of March, the 12th of March, our world went into a, a tailspin. Restaurants closed, hotels closed, 11 million workers went out of work in the hospitality industry. We're going back to our Restaurant Impossible family, those that have closed through no fault of their own and reopening them. What does that mean? It means redoing decor. If we need outside dining, um, we'll put outside dining in. If we need windows to, to go, menu revisits, um, uh, decor revisits. Also, how do we how do we make up the revenue that we've lost from you know 25% seating, 50% seating, or no seating at all? So there's a lot of things going in there. The protocols of dining. Okay, are we wearing mask, gloves? The the food source, the supply chain. All those things that we've never really thought of before uh, to make the consumer feel safe and, and, and want it. You know, even in the best of times, I believe the stat that I have always heard is that 80 percent of all new restaurants eventually go belly up. Is that the case? And, and what are your thoughts? Normally within three years, um, those restaurants are gone. And here we are facing roughly 30 to 40 percent of all restaurants, not just mom and pop restaurants, you could be a great big chain restaurant and be gone in the next four to six weeks. And unfortunately, we've seen already 35% of our restaurant industry um, deteriorate, gone, never coming back through no fault of their own. Um, the government's uh, controlling the, the, the COVID-19, uh, obviously. And if they say there's no dining in, there's no dining in, how do we replace that revenue? And these are the things that we've, we've had a challenge with how do we go into a place that doesn't have outside dining? How do we go into a place that you can't dine in, but you can carry out? So there's a lot of a lot of information, a lot of great information for not only restaurants, but also any kind of service business. We've gone in there. We've done six restaurants right now. We're back on the road again, uh, doing more, and we'll continue to do more as long as these folks need help. Your latest cookbook is titled Family Table. It serves as a guide for bringing families back together around the dinner table. Why is it important to you to have a cookbook with this sort of theme? Well, I, I think, you know, and we've noticed through COVID-19 for sure that we, we don't get as much time together anymore. We're always busy. Um, and COVID-19 has really highlighted that. Families come together, spending time together. Um, you know, there's no school going on, so they're homeschooled. Um, that's why I wanted to get back to get away from phones, get into um, our children's lives. Obviously, I got two daughters that are a little older, 22 and 19, and my wife. So when they come to my house, it's no phones. We cook, we enjoy. Uh, and that's why I wanted the book to get back to basics of, of human relations. Robert, thank you for taking some time to talk to us today. Appreciate it, Jason. Stay safe. Appreciate you as well. You. Restaurant Impossible Back in Business airs on the Food Network.